in this very well-made tent today because we've got some really exciting news to share with you. But first, here's what we've been getting up to. The amazing Phoebe has set up a business. How cool is that? Check out Stitch and Sew on Instagram and get yourself a handmade face mask by Phoebe. Ben from our youth team got married to Abby this week. We hope that you had the best day. As with the youth, we love going to an event called Focus Alive. And Focus Alive is a week over the summer where we get to hang out with lots of different young people from all across um, the UK as part of the HGB Network Churches. And it's a week where we worship together, we hang out, we have loads of fun, and hopefully we sleep in tents that are better constructed than this one. Because of coronavirus, Focus Alive is going online on the 25th of July and it's going to be such a cool day. There's going to be so much fun stuff to do, opportunity to win things, loads of games, some really cool um, live streams going on and it's going to be such a great day. I cannot wait. But make sure you sign up before the 15th of July and if you do that, you'll get a package through the post with loads of cool stuff in it. You'll get a wristband in it, you'll get a Focus Alive notepad and loads and loads of other really fun stuff um, will come in the post to you. So if you want to know more about Focus Alive, check out the Focus website or message us on our Instagram page, minster.youth, and we'll send you the link to be able to sign up. We're carrying on looking at our theme of living our best lives and this week we're going to be looking a little bit further into the theme by diving into how we make decisions with God at the centre. And I had the privilege of interviewing Tom Clark who is the head of youth at HTB, but also Tom is my brother so he's a hero to me on many many levels. I hope you guys enjoy it and here's some of his wisdom on how we make decisions. Tom, we're looking at living our best lives at Minster Youth and today we're looking at um, making decisions. So what are some of the biggest decisions that you've ever had to make in all your years, those many years? Well, I've been alive for 30 years making decisions, but <laughs> for a number of those, our mum and dad made those decisions. <laughs> and... Um, the biggest decision at the moment is whether I should keep this jumper or not. <laughs> and I've um, just got it on a little sale. And I don't know what that one really <laughs> was. But so much so, and forgive me if you're watching Levi, CEO, but I've kept the tag in and I said, <gasps> my wife, isn't that so okay? And she said, well, people do that all the time. They wear a dress for an event they and do. then they give it back. But I'm not, not, I'm not normally like that. But I just thought, and I said to her, well, really, I should wear it because it's a good illustration of... Um, how sometimes it's just hard to make a decision quickly and um, so that that was hard what else had to decide if I should marry my wife if, I, if she was the one to get married to what else have I decided where we should live what house we should move to had to decide what to call our first child Whoa. Um, what was that what else? like oh that was that was well weirdly enough we'd actually we spent quite a long time presuming um it would be a boy. So the conversation was pretty short because we narrowed it into one gender name topic, right. a into the category there of, of a single gender. Mm -hmm. And so that was easy until then the baby arrived and I realized it was a female. And so we had to quite quickly kind of um, come out with some of the names we'd decided. And uh, we went for Lily Florence Clark and her initials are LFC, which is the same of Liverpool Football Club. So Big up Liverpool, Yay. winning the Premier League. Uh, and I'm sure Lily will be thrilled on shoulder to know 30 years I lived without them winning anything and a couple of years after she's born, bang. That's true. Winning. Wow. So, I don't know. I'm not saying it's us, but... <laughs> so you've made lots of decisions in your life. Mm, yeah. Um, what, uh, what, where is God in your decision-making process? Um, well, hopefully he's all over it. All over it. I, um, I mean, some of the things are a bit, a bit. They're a juvenile kind of uh, choice, aren't they? They're like simple to make. Yeah. But I mean, ideally, God's in, involved in, in in every part of who you are, and um, 
well, there's that, there's the stuff around the big word is the incarnation of Jesus, where he became, um, God became flesh. And in, in John, it talks about the word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Greek word, sorry uh, to go so deep so quickly, the Greek word of the word dwell there is the word skenu, oh. which means to pitch your tent. I prefer to remember that. Um, yeah. but, so to pitch your tent. Um, and it's kind of this word with and always being with and being amongst Jesus. And I think that's how I like to think of it. It's like I'm always with him. He's always with me. Uh, well, he's always with me. I'm trying to always be with him. And hopefully those conversations are just, that's just, it's just what happens. I mean, I'm an external processor, which you're probably going to learn from this into anyway. But so those, com they're like, they're ongoing conversations with me and God. It's like, what do you think about this? Oh, what do you think about that? And that normally happens to me in the shower in the morning. I've got three-year-old, so it's the time when I'm most quiet. And, well, I don't sing, so I'm quiet, but also alone and got my own time. So I'm doing that. Um, also started running a little bit. Whoa. During lockdown. And, well, I used to cycle a lot, but then my... I got a flat tire, so I started running. So I think about God on that stuff. So during those times, okay. um, like a quiet time, mm. as one used to call it, um, yeah. it, it, I think that's probably when, like, he's just hopefully all around everything I'm thinking and and dreaming of and discussing. Yeah. yeah. So it's not necessarily for you, like, oh, I've got this big decision to make. I need to go and uh, I need to go to church and like sit in sit there and like pray and ask god for this divine intervention it's more like just the everyday kind of chatting friendship almost yeah i mean i don't want to um yeah it's a friendship it's a relationship with god and and it kind of you know there are moments when you need those and maybe i'll talk a little bit more about that later yeah. but there um i think for me it's like it's just an ongoing bit of friendship it's two-way cool. it's like it's not it's not as trivial as this because it's way more divine but it's like texting a mate mm. or dming or whatever you cool kids do these days but it's just in a, it's just in a relationship with someone so what are your life lessons for us of living our best lives when we make decisions what have you learned what are your life lessons that you can pass on to us well actually helpfully nikki gumbel the vicar of htb um uh, does this amazing talk at Alpha? If you've never done Alpha, you should give it a go. Or Youth Alpha, give it a try when it when it next comes up. Mm -hmm. But um, there are these five things that he says that you should think about um, when you're trying to think through tough questions. And I find them really, really helpful. Um, they all actually begin with C, a C and an S. Um, but I might not, I might not remember them all as C and S. But I'll try. But there's just five things that you should think about when you're trying to make a decision, go through these things. And it's, it can be a really trivial decision, or, but it might be something really serious. And actually when you're making that decision, you can think, oh, I wonder what all these, so the first one is um, your common sense. So like, what does your head say about it? What do you think? Should it, will it work? Should it work? How, what have you seen in the past that, you know, will it, will it, will it make sense? Common sense, use your brain. God gave you a brain, use it. Um, the Bible, uh, definitely read the Bible. Commanding scripture is that uh, C and an S. Um, so um, common sense, commanding scripture, use the Bible. What does the Bible say about it? It's God breathed, it's from God, it's for us. Um, you know, think about, think about what the Bible says. Um, this one is my favorite phrase. And I think probably what I maybe use, I don't know if it's the most, but it's my favorite phrase, the council of saints. Oh, which is essentially just your friends, right? So just yeah. wise people. So you have um, common sense, commanding scripture, the Bible, and your friends. Chat with your mates. What do your mates think? Um, you know, do they think that's a good idea for you? Is it a bad idea for you? Good decision, bad decision. Counselor saints. Um, when you start relationships, if you haven't already, or you have already, chat with the person you're going out with. What do they think? Mm -hmm. Chat with your parents, guardians, carers. Chat with people that love you and care for you. Um, so, uh, Council of Saints, super important. Um, circumstantial signs is the fourth uh -huh. CS, mm -hmm. um, which is essentially just like what you said, Beth. It's like that kind of like lightning bolt moment. Right. So it might be that you are thinking, um, 
I don't know, should we, um, well, imagine you're coming up with a name for a cafe. So you're buying a cafe uh, yeah. and um, you're like driving down the road and you see in, you're in America and you see on this road sign, like merge. And you're like, oh, I call it cafe merge. Okay. And so there's, there's moments where you just might see like a, a circumstantial sign and it's there and it's right, it's right for you. Like, I can't, I can't say no to that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so there's common sense, commanding scripture, uh, counselor saints, circumstantial signs, and You're doing great, compelling spirit. The holy, the holy spirit, compelling spirit. And the fifth one is compelling, compelling spirit. And that's to say that it's like you, if you've experienced the feeling, you know the feeling. If you've not, you it's hard to explain or understand mm -hmm. until you have. But it's like I can only describe it as just like total peace. And so I was on a retreat in uh, Lindisfarne, way up north, further than Wigan and Preston and and further than, no, maybe not Scotland, in around Northumbria okay. and a uh, little island by itself. And I was on this retreat and I was praying and I just, I, well, I maybe a circumstantial sign and a um, compelling spirit. I just felt, I saw a picture of me getting married to Charlotte and I felt total peace about it. And I was like, okay, I've got to do this. Mm -hmm. So I called my mum and said, "Mum, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna propose to Charlotte." And so and there are five things um, to think about. So don't worry about the CSs. I just like to gas myself up by remembering them. But um, <laughs> your great. mates, yeah. the Bible, the, uh, the Holy Spirit. Look out for some signs and use your brain. They're mm -hmm. the five wow. things I think I, I think about. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Tom. Father, thank you that you want to talk to us. Thank you that you want to help us in everything we do, and that includes guiding us when we make decisions. Help us to make decisions with you at the centre, and speak really clearly to us when we need your help. Amen. We've got our YouTube soon coming up this week, so let us know if you want to know the details for that. Um, and we'll see you soon. Make sure you sign up for Focus Alive. It's going to be so good. Bye!